What's up guys? This is Dragon. You're watching Dragon Off-Road. Today I wanted to talk about the world's lightest backpacking stove. I've kind of got my whole cook system uh, nested in this Tokes 1.1 liter pot. So that of course comes with a skillet lid uh, pot holder with my lighter in there. A little cover, a towel for cleaning the pot, the 1.1 liter pot. Uh, that's all Tokes. <laughs> But the stove is the BRS 3000T, and I just kind of did an overhaul on the stove. I took it apart, greased the O-rings, I greased the valve. There's actually a little pin right there that you press out to unscrew this valve all the way. Uh, and you can grease the like flare valve to make sure it's sealing all the way, because I leave this uh, assembled all the time until... Uh, you know, until I run out of gas on this canister, I'll leave this stove attached so I don't have to screw it in and out uh, constantly because you lose a little bit of gas when you screw it in and out. And also the threads can get stripped. I had that happen on the Continental Divide Trail after about four months of screwing it in and out every time. So now I just leave it attached and it, uh, it just fits, you know, perfectly into the Tokes pot with the little lid. It all kind of nests into this nice shape here. So a very small profile for a 1.1 liter pot, stove, fuel, everything. And then the long handle spoon to go with that. But yeah, I love the stove. I've used it on pretty much all my through hikes. It weighs just under one ounce. Uh, I kind of bent the legs a little bit to make it a little tighter there. Uh, another thing to mention if you're going to do an overhaul along with greasing the valve and the o-ring is to take the jet out and clean it because it can get gummed up if you have like an overflow of pasta water on your stove there's just a tiny little jet there tiny little orifice for the fuel to flow through so it can get clogged very easily so i carry a small little uh, piece of wire bristle like a piece of copper wire that fits in there to clean it out on the trail if it gets clogged because, you know, who wants to eat cold ramen or whatever. But anyways, just a cool little thing. You might not have known that that screws off. It is a little tight the first time you try to unscrew it, so you might need some pliers to get it off the first time. But after that, you just kind of leave it finger tight. Yeah, this is a great stove. Use it for everything. Give you a quick little demo. Thought about putting a piezo on it, but I figured why not just keep it simple. So on full blast, it'll probably boil two cups of water for your mountain house in about five minutes or so. So it's not quite the fastest stove ever, but it is the lightest. And that's what really matters. I don't care if it takes a couple minutes more to boil the water, you know. Like, what does it matter, really? But, uh... I also use this thing on when I'm car camping to make coffee with a mocha pot on the top. It's just a very simple coffee maker uh, thing. And I got a refill valve actually for these canisters so I can use all the empty or almost empty canisters and transfer all the fuel into this guy. So I could just keep using this canister. You save a lot of money in the long term because these are getting up to like $8 a canister now. So, you know, this one was 6 but yeah, if you can refill them for free, why not do that with a little 20 or $30 uh, gas valve? And when I do that, I just throw this one in the freezer. The one I want to refill, I put it in the freezer. You kind of warm up the one you want to transfer from. And then you screw them together and turn the valve. And occasionally you'll have to let some of the air out with the little button on the transfer valve. But uh, yeah, this is a great stove. Uh, I've used it for pretty much all my through hiking, and I love it. Just a few little modifications, and if you use it a lot, uh, doing a little tune-up on it, greasing all the things so that it doesn't lose any gas, uh, is a good thing to do. So, anyways, BRS 3000T. Thanks for watching. Dragon out.